Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. Um, if it sounds like I'm slurring, I have a cough drop in my mouth. Uh, and, you know, my nose is clogged, so I, yeah. Anyways, okay, so this is for Libra, September 4th to the 8th, 2021. You versus them, Libra. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a crosswalker or someone that you're dealing with. Okay, Libra. September 4th to the 8th, 2021. One more shuffle, Libra. Okay, Libra, so I feel like you and your person are letting go of something with this release card here at the bottom of the deck. Um, and this could be letting go of a person, letting go of a situation, letting go of a habit, letting go of a pattern. And with the masculine here, I feel like um, this could be like the, the guy, the masculine in this situation. I mean, I've met women who are the masculine and men who are the feminine. So take it however it is that you can relate. But um, there could be new beginnings here in you guys' life. It's like a doorway opening up, a new pathway. And I feel like with the masculine card, this is more like yang energy. Like you guys are taking action. Um, and it's like releasing. You could be releasing things of the past. Uh, see action right there afterwards. Uh, releasing uh, action right there afterwards. Uh, releasing things of the past. Releasing people. Releasing thought patterns. Bad habits. Uh, just releasing, you know. And this is, you're going to start using more experience with the wisdom card. It's like, now that you know better, you could do better type of thing. Self-reflection. But I feel like this is, uh, this has a lot to do with you guys' independence here. Yeah, self-love in the center. And then on your person side, power. Um, they're learning sovereignty. You know, they're learning that they have power over their own life. That no one can control them. Um... They're learning how to take, you know, the bull by the horns, you know, they're learning how to just do things themselves. They could have been very codependent in the past, especially with this self-love in the center here, you know, very reliant on you for things or something. And this doesn't have to be like a relationship person. It could be a friendship, a coworker, a family member, you know, they're like relying on you a lot. Well, they were. And now with this um, card here in the center, it's with self-love, you know, again, it's like you guys are learning how to be more independent, how to just because you don't want someone that's half a person and half a person that's codependent and toxic I'm, i i say this often in these videos every time you know I, I don't know if i get it's just anytime i feel like it needs to be said i say this you know you want someone that's whole and complete by themselves you're also whole and complete by yourself then you guys can come together and you guys are independent and it's healthy you know i got your back you got my back you know we can help each other out you know we're not relying on each other to make each other happy make each other feel better you know x y and z you know, uh, um, you know, rely on each other to, um, to, you know, pull each other out of debt or, you know, whatever the situation may be. But I feel like here your person is learning how to be more independent. Uh, both of you guys are, you know, and it's like you guys both deserve that. You're learning how to go forward in your own lives and do what's best for you guys, you know. Um, and that could be both of you guys just, I feel like both of you guys are elevating yourselves. Okay. Um, self-reflection, you know, I feel like you're looking a lot at yourself right now. Uh, just don't be too hard on yourself, Libra, okay? But let's take a look here with this deck. And then I have Romance Angels deck here and some tarot that I'm going to use. Um, yeah, and if this is like, you feel like it's an ugly situation, just know that beauty's in the eye of the beholder. It's like sunflowers. Sunflowers are weeds, but to me, they're flowers, okay? Every person's love story is different. We all have different walks of lives. Uh, so no one can really judge anyone. Okay, but with nourishment here, you, you need to make sure you feed yourself healthy things, healthy thoughts, healthy ideas, you know, healthy people, healthy experiences. Um, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. And that's you and or the person that you're dealing with. So Libra, September 4th to the 8th, 2021. September 4th to the 8th, 2021, Libra. One more shuffle. You versus them, Libra. It's number four to the eighth, 2021, Libra. Okay, planning your future. Again, I feel like both of you guys are elevating yourselves. Risky connection. And it could be because you guys are both very independent. Therefore, it could be kind of risky where you guys are very much used to being alone. So it's like you could cut this person off quickly. Choosing you, you see. Uh, both of you guys, I feel like, are just becoming very independent right now overcoming challenges and by focusing more on yourself making yourself a priority 
You're going to fix a lot of problems in your own life. You're not missing out on anything when you're getting your stuff together, okay? You know, there's always a time and place to party with friends and, and you know, get buck wild if you want to, you know. But, um, you know, if, if you feel like right now you need to take care of some things in your life, then, hey, then, then, then do that, you know. More power to you, to each their own. Um, and whoever is kind of disrespecting your boundaries, then you know that, that they... They benefited off you not having boundaries. You know, they are very codependent and, and very relying on you. Um, and here in the center, focused on their stability. I feel like that's a mutual thing. Both of you guys are elevating yourselves. And this person is a potential life partner for you. New, old, past person, new person, crush, F buddy, a friend. You know, um, this could also just be someone that's going to be in your life forever. Um, but you see relationship blossoming. So I feel like right now, just where you guys are at, you need to let go of all expectations, especially with those butterflies there. And um, just right now where you guys are at is just you guys are taking action in your own lives. Um, so I feel like both of you guys are going to be very stable. And that's going to help you guys out. You know, you guys could have been very different, brought up differently, come from different backgrounds, you know, and that could have caused a lot of strain in the relationship or misunderstandings. But I feel like with this deepening connection here, you know, the love is, is real. It's deep. Okay. It's just right now you guys can have just different goals right now. Um, if you guys are separated, if you guys are together, you guys can be very much focused on different things. And kind of what's required is just communication. Or it's just like where you guys are at on your journeys kind of requires you guys to be alone. It's not really anything personal. Uh, if this is a new person or a past person. Okay. Uh, so let's see, Libra, September 4th. <clears throat> Let me drink my cup of tea. Okay, but there's some fresh beginnings here. New starts. New starts independently. New starts together. But let's see, Libra. It's number 4th to the 8th, 2021 Libra. One more shuffle, Libra. It's number 4th to the 8th, 2021 Libra. Okay, you could be learning how to um, go forward in your life, you know, very, be very um, uh, straight up, be very direct, be very straightforward, you know, blunt. Uh, and it's, you could also be facing someone who's very focused on material items and you're, you're you know, you're speaking to them very straight up. And they could be very 3D, care about what's right here in front of them. Um, and you could be just being very straight up with them, you know, because it's a very straight up connection here. It's a strong soul connection with this lover's card. You could also be dealing with the Gemini. But I feel like you're very honest. You're very direct with this person. Uh, but there could be some confusion here with the five of wands, you know, some mixed signals. And that could be causing you a lot of anxiety. And I feel like uh, you kind of need to let that go uh, with that self-reflection. If it's like if it's bothering you so much, um, why? Why is it bothering you so much? You know what I mean? Uh, these things are coming up for you to pay, to look at. Not really to like, oh, they, them, this, and hate on them. And like, um, it's more like, you know, why is this bothering me so much? You know, why do I feel this way? Why? Um, because I feel like here, again, I feel like when they talk to you, uh, they confuse you or they give you some sort of mixed signal or they're just... Um, or they're only talking to you and you could be kind of wanting to speed this up because you care a lot about them and because they're causing you confusion or mixed signals or uh, you're arguing with this person, you could be afraid that they're going to leave you or because, or it's like you're also kind of afraid to approach this person, you know, it's like um, this person has hurt you, they caused you pain, new or old person, like I said. Um, you could be fighting with them right now and that's kind of scary for you because you think they're going to leave or that it's going to end in some sort of breakup and you have feelings here. But again, I feel like you don't need to be so hard on yourself. You know, don't be blaming yourself either with that self-reflection card. Um, I feel like there's lots of changes here with this full moon energy. Like, I mean, there's also a full moon behind them, right? So I feel like there's lots, lots of changes coming in when there is a full moon. Uh, I feel like right now you should be more focused on your future. Um, you know, it's not that this is not going to happen. Uh, you could just be kind of having to release those negative thought patterns that they're going to leave me or they're going to cheat on me because I feel like here, this person is, is communicating with you. It could also be a Capricorn or a Leo that you're dealing with. You know, they're, they're talking to you. Um, 
but there's there's something that they're kind of dealing with that they're not really telling you and um and i feel like you know with that full card you kind of want to jump into this um and you're watching them but i feel like there's more planning involved here with that three of wands you know more decisions that have to be made but let me let's get some clarifiers here what's the seven of swords libra's person yeah they might not be telling you that they're not sure about you yet uh with that seven of swords and the judgment you know i feel like they're not really sure about you yet you know they could be going back and forth like you know do i want this person uh the eight of wands is a crossroads so i feel like they're more like you know do i want this person what's the devil card what's the devil card but I feel like this person is obsessed with talking to you. They do want to speak to you um, if they haven't spoken to you because you make them happy. They like talking to you. Thank you. Um, but again, there could be things that they're ending in their own life um, in order for a commitment to happen. You know, they could have been playing the field with the two of and the seven, the two of pentacles and the seven of swords. But I feel like they kind of learned their lesson with that. It's like you know they don't really want to do that. Um, this could also be a marriage or a Taurus that you're dealing with. Um, this could be like a divorce that's happening. And again, you know, this could be, you know, you're kind of afraid of the unknown if this is like a divorce. Because um, you do care about this person. You do. But you could be kind of afraid of the unknown. So you're like afraid to leave in a way. Um, and here, what's the tennis story? Eight of Wands. Thank you. Um, they have some regrets, and I feel like um, they're getting over these things. You know, they could have been very controlling in the past, bully. Uh, and this person is learning how to get over these things. You know, they're learning how to be forgive themselves, uh, how to be at peace with it. And and I feel like they, if this is like a past person, they're going to want to jump back into this, you know. Uh, but they need to get over the fact that they always wanted to control things. This could also be like a baby daddy where they're kind of toxic and a bully to you. Um, and they, they feel bad for that. Uh, it could also be like an Aries that you're dealing with or a Pisces. What's the Seven of Swords? Libra's person. Yeah, again, I feel like, you know, they could be dealing with someone else or talking to other people. And they are in the process of ending that from what I'm seeing here. Um, what is the Devil card to a Pentacles? And they could be kind of obsessed with power in a way where, well, it's like because they care about you, they want to control the situation, you know. Uh, but either way, the love is mutual. What's the focus on their stability? It's just kind of like you might um, need to release the expectations and have self-love here. Uh, you know, I feel like both of you guys get a lot of attention. Both of you guys have options here. And both of you guys might be kind of just playing the field right now, both having a good, just wanting a good time. Um, and, but I feel like, again, with that page of cups, it's like, the love is here. I feel like you guys are talking, but this isn't serious yet. If this is like a new person, this isn't serious yet. And if this is a past person, an apology could be kind of happening, but, um, there's still someone else here that this person is ending, uh, ending it with, or, you know, they're no longer wanting to play the field or keep their options open. I feel like, um... They just need to learn how not to control the situation. They need to release control. I feel like you need to release expectations. Uh, yeah, just a change of perspectives, okay? Um, and, again, I feel like you're very straight up with this person here about, you know, wanting them to a cups at the top of the deck. And there's just issues in communication because, wow, my throat. Uh, what's the three of swords? Libra? You know, issues in talking. Um, you could be kind of afraid to reach out to someone or um, have something with someone. But I feel like it's someone that's stable or feels stable, financially stable even. But what's the Queen of Cups? Libra first. Libra. Queen of Cups, Libra. But I feel like there's major changes here. You could be afraid to reach out to this person, but I feel like um, you kind of shouldn't be because this is actually very stable. What's the Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Tower? Thank you. Yeah, I feel like there's just a lot of overthinking here, or at least a lot of thinking of doing something and not no actual action. What's the Knight of Wands? And it's, it's your fears that are coming up. 
it's your fears. You can also be dealing with the Virgo. Uh, you could be letting go of a job or letting go of a, a failed opportunity. Um, just releasing, you know, maybe you don't, you no longer want to offer something to someone too for some of you guys. You could be watching them with someone else. And it's kind of like, or you just don't want to offer them anything. Or it's like, you know, right now you're getting rid of a job and you're quitting a job and it's like you're watching someone. But either way, I feel like your fears are coming up for you and it could be making you feel lonely. But that's just stuff that's coming up for you to work on. It could be jealousy issues, insecurity issues, um, anger issues. What's the five of wands for Libra? But there's major changes here. I feel like, you know, take it slow, take it easy. Um, there's just a lot of triggers here for your anxiety. Uh, with the lover's card, I feel like this is a strong soul connection and this is still going to happen. It's just right now, it's not that serious. New person or past person, you know, it's just not that serious right now. It could also be a Gemini or Virgo. But again, I feel like this person, you know, they care a lot about you. You know, they could just be going out drinking with people. I, I mean, and let me see this devil card. I mean, I don't really think they're having, you know, getting intimate with anyone. Yeah, I mean, they're over getting intimate with people well, with that six of swords and the devil, you know. Um, they're kind of over that. They, they want new in their life. Uh, I feel like there's, they're passionate about other things. Okay, and with the potential life partner real quick for a Libra person. I mean, why are they cheating or talking to other people? It's Libra's potential life partner. Okay, so they are, they might tell you, you know, with the full card and the Empress here, you know that, um, I mean, because we have Emperor and Empress, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. So you guys are like counterparts for sure. But I feel like this person might tell you, you know, that they don't really want to jump into this right now, uh, that they want to take it slow. Um, that they're still getting over things. Uh, they could also tell you that they're still dealing with something um, and they don't want to jump into this. What, what's the full card before I get the Romance Angels? But I feel like overall, they are going to jump into this here. This this is something that you kind of manifested. Uh, there's major changes that are happening. It could also be with the Scorpio. It's just right now, this person is looking at where they're at and they're kind of like, does this really make me happy? And they're realizing that it does it. That talking to you makes them happy. So it could also be a cancer that you're dealing with. So, yeah. And they miss you. So I feel like they're going to ask to meet up with you here. Um, but there's some boundaries that are needed. Um, they could be having to leave something or someone first with that justice card. It could also be another Libra that you're dealing with. But, you know, leave their options. You know, start saying no to hanging out with their friends. Or start saying no to going out. And then this can be more serious. But I feel like right now it's not that serious. And um, especially with these in the center here, it's like both of you guys are getting a lot of attention, a lot of options. Uh, both of you guys could just be trying to have fun and have nothing serious right now. And this could be, again, worrying you. But, you know, I feel like with the give your relationship a chance here, you know, don't freak out. <laughs> so Libra, September 4th to the 8th, 2021. I feel like everything's kind of going as planned. Libra. See, so give your relationship a chance in the center. Let go of control issues. On their side here, you know, they need to have more trust. I feel like they kind of have trust issues. So it's like, um, you know, like that song, she's a runner, she's a track star. You know, I can't really sing. Um, where they run when they get when it gets hard. You know, she runs when it gets hard. You know, this person tends to have trust issues. You know, when things get hard, they probably tend to take off. And this is something that they're having to learn. Is, you know, they can't just... You know, because that's also what the Knight of Wands is. It's like around for a good time, not a long time. So, I feel like they're learning how to trust with that devil card and the, you know, the King of Cups and the, you know, they're learning how to have trust. Um, I feel like right now they could be kind of uh, holding back because of their finances. So, right now they could just be flirting with you. You know, they're very much interested in you, but I feel like they are worth waiting for. Um, this person could also be giving you just only a little bit of attention. You know, inconsistent attention. And that could be making you want to block this off and leave this 100%. But, uh, and just be single. And then, so that this person could take more action towards you. But, again, I feel like right now with where they're at, they're being four of pentacles, four of cups. They're holding back and it's it's more because of money. Okay, but, but their money is going to change here. Okay, it's just uh, they need to continue to put to the work in. With that power card, again, they have the power in their own life. And this is something that they're, you know, that they're learning. They're letting go of 
it could be toxic uh excuse me a toxic um toxic like ideas of money or and it could come like in like where you're losing money and it's like you're learning how to trust this person more like trust trust the plan trust the bigger picture while you work on your finances as well okay uh because i feel like this person is you know they could just be flirting with you or giving you attention here and there not constant attention and it's because right now you know they're working on their finances they're working on their career you know they might not really have time for anything serious right now um but again with this angel card right here they are worth waiting for i feel like you know you guys tend to be like childhood sweethearts both of you guys could be missing each other it's just um you guys need to both like go control issues uh you guys have known each other before this is like a past life relationship okay so i feel like both of you guys kind of prayed on this prayed for this uh could even be like a reconciliation type of thing for some of you guys uh that was a missed opportunity in the past and it's like you know more effort will happen but again right now i feel like um Childhood wounds about money could be uh, being worked on at the moment, okay? Uh, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this out here. If this relates to you guys, if this resonates, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.